it's all dip down as well, though. It's all dip down, isn't it? That's because you've left it on from the other day or something like that. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Well, whatever, man, whatever. It's all good, it's all good. It's all good, man, it's all good. Okay, the big thing is to watch out for the, uh, is for the, um, the exhaust that comes out of this thing. It's like an old 1976 Mini. You'll see it, you'll see it. Not fully set up yet, folks, stand by. A little bit, what have we got? 15 minutes of departures left. We've got a triple seven Dreamliner and uh, that 380 is just coming, isn't it? long now. Depends on the uh, ferocity of the departure, really. United 767 400. comes a truck. <laughs> the PRS boys, nowhere to be seen. Watch the elevators on the road, eh? Here they go. We would have been disrupted by two trucks there. <laughs> oh, and it's raining. I don't believe it. It's not raining, are you? Quite a low cloud base. Well, actually, you know what? It was earlier, it isn't so much so now. Now, here we go, look, here we flipping go. I haven't even finished setting up yet. Yeah. What trucks indeed. Oh, nice. Thank you, Roger, our airside man. Eaters A220, folks. This is a, it's a beautiful looking aircraft, but I can't, I, they, I don't think that they've done the eyeliner on it, um, which is quite interesting. So, standard takeoff procedure is that flapper on will lower, as you can see there, and then after a certain period of time, hydraulic system builds up, and there it goes into the neutral position, then it goes beyond neutral, slightly into the upper position, and then it will uh, settle back down to the lower position. It's obviously, um, you know, to do with the, uh, the twist parameters of the, um, now everything's gonna be based on the elevators. But, fixed in with those elevators is also the, the control systems operating those flapper on so everything's all in one unison here she goes now the flapper ons will come into action linked to the ailerons of course the outboard flight surfaces <laughs> it's spitting save yourselves hey 
you can hoop, you can hoop, but I'm not going <laughs> to. I reckon during the switch over, Julie, I can take the camera off. Oh, could I or not? Just show everyone, but it would be a bit of a... Because I've got to disconnect the leads. A little bit of uh, razor wire there. <laughs> it's always something, isn't it? <laughs> Tony Rivers should have his own radio station, shouldn't he? The Tony Rivers Show. Yeah. His old triple sevens getting long in the tooth. Thank you, Kristen. Straight out the back, gifting five memberships. Thank you, Kristen. Lots of very funny, I have to say, um, gifts <laughs> that you guys sent through when we announced the, um, well, when, after we did the test. I think they were, the bait, they, they were from the test, actually. It's from the test video, weren't they, Jim? But as you can see, folks. Uh, okay, on last night's show post. So as you can see, folks, I am um, higher now than I, than I ever have been. <laughs> um, and as you can see, normally, this truck here would come into shot, but now it doesn't. <laughs> so, to you lot, spoon salesman, eh? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry? Spoon salesman! Uh, Digital Dave has gifted five memberships. Thanks, Dave, that's very kind of you. So, same position, folks, um, but just another sort of like one point two meters higher than I was before of course um, very well um, using the same assembly as below as well so it's 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 much the same as you get with your park railings or your uh, scaffolding system um, that we're using here and of course uh, scaffolding boards that are very um, sturdy and um, BS certified or whatever the hell it is um, but uh, yeah this is uh, so as you can see here we've got kicker boards um, got the the attachments and um, I've got enough space to um, to move myself around got a nice sturdy ste steps because obviously I have to step down now step away from the cookie jar and uh, as you can see there um, so new system upon old system um, which seems to be working remarkably well. Ooh, oh, that's a bit odd. Sorry about that. I've got a bit of uh, free play in my mount. Oh! VJ Menon. It's gifted five memberships. Thanks, VJ. Life with Dave. I'm not the Messiah! Jerry's got a new mezzanine. I'll tell you what, folks. I am forever a perfectionist, I have to say. Even that little bit of razor wire, see that little bit of razor wire there? It makes me, oh, you know, another, maybe another 150 mil, something like that. Hello. You behind the bike sheds! Stand still, laddie! There were certain teachers who would hurt children any way they could <laughs> By pouring their division upon everything we did Exposing every weakness, however carefully we 
spider kid. <laughs> um, Lee Redmond, yeah. No wokers, please. I have full working at height certification. Uh, something I have to do and renew. Oi, a bit of a truck there. He's a hybrid. <laughs> Uh, I have to do it every year. Uh, working at Heights, have to take out all my uh, certification um, and, uh, amongst other things, all my uh, pro public liability insurance. Hey, even if I fell off the van here and landed on a horse uh, and broke its leg, uh, I'm covered. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> Anybody asks about the Courtyard Hotel as an overnight stay, then you only have to ask the folks who've, uh, who've obviously, um, members of ours who've, who've stayed there uh, and had, have had a great experience. Look, top of the truck. Did you see the top of the truck there? <laughs> Try not to do that, Liam, say. Yes, Chili. Chili has to have a working with cats certificate. It's a very boring uh, exam that you have to take, but has to be done annually. <laughs> have you got a beacon on your head? No, but I have got a torch, uh, a, um, a head torch for tonight, um, for when I take this thing down. Because I have to dismantle it halfway. I have to take all the boards up, the top assembly has to come down. Uh, then I can drive with the lower assembly because it's only 1.2 meters above the van height. So uh, that's fine. But um, yeah, I might put a brace bar in, I don't know. But uh, as it stands at the moment, I've checked it with the suppliers and they're all happy with the, with the, um, the setup. Row a lamb, the end of the, the, the truck era. Well, I have to say, there are some very high-sided trucks. Fortunately, fewer uh, fewer numbers than the uh, than the normal height trucks. Standard. Read all about it. Okay, well we're done, folks. We are done. Uh, into oh, hold on a minute. Let me get that. <laughs> it's a bit Circling northern France, probably a passenger issue. I imagine. Um, what's important, folks, is that you, you that you that you put kicker boards in as well, like support boards at the sides, uh, to stop me going any further than um, where I am. Two fifty-eight just coming up to the uh, to the switchover. And there's the. Uh, Like clockwork, you can literally set your clock um, by Heathrow, folks. What time is it? Switch over. Oh, three o'clock then. <laughs> 1500 hours. Patrick Crimmings has gifted a membership. Thanks, Patrick. <laughs> Jay man, can you see the runway at Frankfurt from there? Uh, Marcus G, um, you you laugh, but that's that's precisely what happened when I first um, uh, I put the the uh, the extension on the roof. I wrote off uh, the extension number one, and secondly, the entrance to a McDonald's. Um, first time I went in there, I went in there at normal speed, like, but it didn't matter whether I was going five mile an hour or 10 mile an hour, it just wallop. That was it. Had to rebuild it. It was terrible. And I did it again! <laughs> I 
Diesel 13 Q8 GT7. What have we got on the way, folks? Let us know. Welcome to everybody. Hope you're doing well. Wednesday, it's right on three o'clock now, and I uh, hope you're all doing well. It's all downhill from here. So uh, sit back and uh, relax and enjoy your Wednesday afternoon's aviation entertainment. Avro Arrow is the air rarer up there. <laughs> all these bleeding trucks going by, look. Hey! Delta 339 first in Declan Bowling Train. Not seeing it yet, Declan. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Karma. Paul Jones. They call them traders triples. They have three loading decks inside. I think Paul Jones knows about his trucks, the triple, the, the high, the high, high siders. They call them triples. Well, that's quite cool, isn't it? I mean, we've got our triples in aviation and they've got their triples in um, trucking. Nathan Pulling, Chuck Tannehill. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening. Steve Batty, Diane 78, to Toby Riding. Have you been watching new series? I have no idea what that's about, my program. Uh, I think the guys in the car are my most chicken. Oh, okay, Rachel Vanzella, okay, fair enough. Um, Patrick uh, Ran G, good afternoon. Pico 7, Steffi Quinn and B Cal Pam. Um, Lulu, uh, Lulu, la la Lulu, uh, good afternoon. Bobby 13, the great escape adapted for Big Jet TV. Um, welcome, everybody. Don't worry, we're not going to be spending the afternoon um, looking, at a, looking at a runway. We're waiting. For the uh, the switch has commenced. They are on um, two seven left operations for landings. Phil Sky has gifted five memberships. I've got him long range. Now I'm wondering whether because um, the conditions are a little bit cooler, we might see a little bit of condensation. Lots of flies, man. Can you see the flies on the screen, Jilly? Lots of flies. Steve Sibbins, so I said tower scaffold. Not really. Um, well, no, not really because a tower is perfect. It's a, it's a customized tower system uh, adapting, uh, adapted using um, a handrail system um, rather than a, a bulky sort of like, um, uh, you, you know, the, the scaffold clamps that you get are, 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 are quite bulky and big and menacing. <laughs> Whereas these are a nice pinch down Allen key system. Ross Tyrrell, um, screaming emu. Whenever we're short of the runway and traffic isn't moving for no apparent reason, I always say, come on, lads, we can get dozens out in this darkness, and uh, nobody gets it. Um, for me, on the road, I always say, uh, hurry up, mate, you get, come on, mate, you can get a number 63 bus through there, you know, in terms of, like, you know, the gap. Mind the gap. Chantal Trudeau. I'm so happy to be a member. Hi everyone from Montreal, Chantal. Um, Chantal, very warm. Uh, what are we talking about? Morning, I think we are. Uh, good morning, Montreal. Good morning, Canada. Hello, everybody. Thank uh, you, Picking Bottom Ditch. Be forever receiving the extra flights after the car park bar at Luton. Kevin Beasley. Interesting. I'd imagine that Gatwick may have seen a few. Um, I would have thought that uh, the airlines would have been like, not playing that much. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. First in. Yeah, we might get a bit of fun. Yeah, flies, man. Look at the flies. Slight amount of drift. <laughs> Jerry appearing on pilots, no tams. No higher than your average tree, folks. Blimey, there's a lot of flies, man. It's a 339 with Delta, isn't it? Nice. Oh, Ty, thank you, my friend. Not now. 
Just check the pay all that money for it. Just tell me when I'm live. Just tell me when to film. Just tell me when to film. Okay, with no banner, yeah? No banner or anything, no? Am I right in saying that? Whoa! Hey! Oh, mate, this is going to be good in the wind. In the in the oh, it's just there's just loads of trucks and everything, but <laughs> none of them. Look, 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 look at each other. <laughs> Sorry, I will, I will get over the whole fact that I, you know, have completely eradicated 95% of the trucking population, I believe. Um, allowing them to go on with their work uh, merrily uh, and not be... Um, oh, did it see you? Did it see? Craig Gerard went a bit sideways. Yeah, ever such a slight, as you can see, a little bit of a crosswind there, folks. It's almost uh, a southerly um, wind. Flipping flies, mate. Oh, blimey. If it ain't flipping trucks or trees or fences, lampposts, it's flies now. <laughs> I need one of those big blue light things up at the top of the roof, don't I? <laughs> High truck, high truck, high truck. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Mark Luddington. Uh, welcome, Mark. Brand new member on. Well, it's not, it's actually a returning member. That Q8 um, triple just landed, obviously. Um, everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, Tap Tap is a brand new member. Welcome, Tap Tap. Great to see you. Tap Tap and all new um, premium members can immediately access all of our um, our international shows, folks. So um, go help yourselves, um, and you'll get to see the kind of stuff that we do and the kind of places that we go to. bit of razor wires you know <laughs> it's there in it that's the uh, that's the our friends at the police in it actually played um, golf the other day with a fella whose son flies uh, for the police uh, might even be uh, operating that particular flight right now need the policeman you know Out of range, GP, out of range, just in case. Anton Pem, welcome back, Anton. Uh, lovely to see you. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope your week is going well. I've spent the last, literally, the, yesterday and um, this morning completing the um, the platform system 
thank you to the metal store they won't be listening got no idea no clue um, but thank you the metal store um, who uh, supplied overnight all the railings and the um, the, the, uh, the clamp systems different types of clamps etc etc Nigel Coxon very cool view now it is isn't it Rangi Russia review throw Philip Larry Lee Hesp trucks nil flies one <laughs> Smiling, huh? I saw a, um, I saw the side of a, um, I think it was a Lidl, Lidl truck the other day when I was, uh, when I was going up to the clamp store. Mate. Hello. 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 Oh my God, really? Are you serious? Hello. Yeah. Have you sorted it or what? Have we got a show, Jenny? Have we got a show? Oh my god, this is absolutely outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Right, we're dumping Virgin, mate. We're going to Sky. We're dumping Virgin, going to Sky. Your reception, I can eat it, 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 it like that. It, it, yeah, but I, I, I don't eat it like that. Your is coming very well. Can hardly hear you. Keeps going off. There you go. You've cut off again. I'll just carry on. Just carry on. Thank you. The Green Liner, folks. Etihad's um, statement um, for future eco flight. But, um, you know, they're all saying, like, um, Anyway, yeah, the little truck. It had a very good statement on the side of it. All our trucks are fueled by biofuel or whatever it is, our own. We fuel our own trucks through our own waste or something like that. Why don't they just put that, you know, put something like that on the side of your plane? elevators still trying to keep that nose soften the blow 
Uh, yeah, like I say, um, sorry, Ty, thank you so much. Uh, gifting 50 memberships. Ty, you're a legend, my friend, as long as, as, as well as everybody else. JT, the trucker, has gifted 10 memberships. Thank you, JT. That's very kind of you. Um, we've got Bushan Mag Mahesh Gandhi is a brand new member. Welcome to Premium um, Bushan. And, and just be aware that, like I said earlier, you're, um, you are welcome to all of our um, member content. Hello? Yeah. Someone's just fired his AP. Is Luton still ablaze? So we've got no logo, no nothing yet. Okay, yeah, for how long? I never have that. Oh, I might have that. Dorinda, good afternoon. Mike Wild, Rab Each. Now that's a high side intro. That is a triple there. It's a triple try there. See, that's a high side intro. Kino Hello Avianka Silver Fox, yes the fire is out. And this is an A350. And I think it's British Airways. Monarch 757 fan. Don't use their waste oil for fuel on their trucks, Stephen Owen. Yeah, I mean look, you know, even if it's a sort of like, you know, a uh, the fact they don't, they, you know, use a percentage of fuel, I think most of these companies running biofuels. Um, but I just think it's important that people are made aware that the industry is running fuels. A uh, sustainable aviation fuel, even if it is 5%. Farmbox uh, Agri Videos is a uh, new member. Welcome, Farmbox. Uh, Nigel Gale, that 315 from Las Vegas. Uh -huh. You can hear that. I don't know which one that is, whether that's that. Is it that triple there? Is it perhaps. Uh, Seven eight seven is a big aeroplane, folks. Seven eight seven is a monstrous aeroplane. We're going to stand up next to it, but look at it. Just dwarf, I mean, tailor that, tailor that Dreamliner and makes it look like a three twenty, doesn't it? Uh, next to that three eighty. Uh, Diesel one three Singapore three eighty. Twelve minutes out. Thank you, Chester. Draws a three fifty eye candy. Flew back from Vegas on one last year. Beautiful bird. It is a beautiful bird, but again, like I have to say, um, once you're on the aircraft, you are sat sitting um, and relaxed. Um, and once you're flying, because most airlines carry the same um, uh, uh, um, cabin arrangement uh, with most of their aircraft, most of their fleets, um, it feels like the same aircraft. Really. You are indeed, you know, um, sometimes it's a very old aeroplane and therefore you kind of like, you know you, 
obviously on a brand new thing like a 350 in terms of the seating and all that. Just everything feels new, doesn't it? Um, but even some of the Dreamliners now are, are a little bit tatty inside. Uh, just coming up to their sort of, uh, well, a lot of them coming up to their D checks now. 11 years, I think it is, for the D check. So, um, look at all these trucks going by. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. <laughs> Waspo, when I'm flying at flight level 370, I just want to be uh, uh, sure that the stuff in the tanks burns. Don't care if it's energy efficient, bit different to driving a truck and its engine stuff. Yeah, I think if you have an engine issue, uh, a, a, a fuel issue, that's either the fuel system or, uh, or the engine in general, or just one of the, you know, ancillaries that, uh, that uh, you know, uh, they're only running 5%, they're not running 100%, and they, but they have already run on 100%. Um, a number of times I think 100% sustainable aviation flight uh, other airlines have as well I think one of the um, the likes of like Etihad or Qatar or big high truck ha 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 only got the top of it um, but uh, but yes these uh, these these operators uh, for the time being you're only going to be seeing uh, a 5% usage um, Blend, it's known as a blend when they um oh, look at you carry that you to carry that in deadly. Jenny Westcott David E Right next best way to describe it David uh, we're right next to Myrtle Avenue Yeah, I mean, if you fly on a, if you fly on a, if you fly on a brand new A350 and a and a, and a 27 year old 777, and trust me, I've done that. Um, uh, 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 really, once you're in flight, these engines are so finely tuned, and uh, they they really you just don't you it'd close your eyes and you wouldn't know. And I'll kiss you tomorrow. I'll miss you. Just close your eyes and you wouldn't know what what aircraft you're on, really. Uh, other than the fact that you're on a big aeroplane. Screaming even narrow bodies are smashing the wide bodies in landing quality. Oh, today, um, in terms of, yes, yes, right, okay. I thought you meant in modern times or something. <laughs> but he's just talking about now, today. Dreamliner. Lloyd Bell going on an old 777-200 in January. You'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. Flapper on. See the flapper on behind the engines? See them moving there, folks? That flight surface. When one goes up, the other one goes down kind of thing. But uh, unless, of course, you are now touching down when they become a uh, speed brake. Just think of that uh, right one was sort of like... Onboard computers again. Here comes a double-decker bus. Let's see if that one gets in the way. Not at all. Not at all. Just to prove it was there, look. <laughs> Sorry. Right, I'm going to stop talking about that now. Uh, Deborah Davies, Slinger holding over Ilford. Interesting Mark Woodrow, thank you. Monarch 757 fan, Ian Morrison. Diesel 1-3. James Fenny, uh, why do the Dreamliners make a whistling sound on approach? Is it the same thing that with what happens when the A220 powers up? I don't, I think, you know, James, I don't know if it's something to do with the... Um, with the, uh, the, 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 the shape of the 
exit cowls. It's luxury mate, I tell you it's luxury. This is it's stress free mate, apart from the bleeding feet going down of course. Little Tarong in 321 8 Going out of play there. Bit of magic garden. Um, The um, uh, Team Rotunda, my boy, is out on BA 480 at 425 this afternoon. A uh, 235 this afternoon, it's gone. Uh, unless that's his local time, I don't know. Um, Paul B08, thank you Paul. Rider 747, Jerry is bus. <laughs> Got a bit of a stack form in there, look. Paul Tiddler's by the looks of it. So what we're talking about, what, what the, the um, whoever it was, somebody asking um, about the scalloped, um, the, sorry, the reason why the 787, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes the uh, 787 has a distinctive um, sort of like whistling noise, almost like, the uh, best way I can describe it is when I was a kid they had those plastic tube things that you whirled round your head and they a kind of a bit like the old um, uh, Pratt & Whitney howl um, but you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about you'll, you'll, you'll hear what I'm talking about um, but it is, it is purely a um, I just wanted to show you there and what's in the way <laughs> you can just about see it a scalloped you see the scalloped back end of that engine there. Here we go. See the scallop shape there. It was supposed to, it's actually developed by General Electric and NASA. Um, and that's why you see it on the 737 MAX on the LEAP engine. Um, not on other LEAP engines, uh, but only on the Boeing jets. Uh, 787s and the 747-8 or 800 Intercontinental or whatever. Um, those three aircraft type have the scalloped shape exit cowls. Like I say, developed by NASA and, um, and General Electric. Was supposed to actually save um, 
make the engine quieter. Um, but unfortunately, uh, from what I understand, it's actually made them quieter, but uh, <laughs> less efficient. Um, I believe they cause um, drag. Okay, here we go. Or not so much drag, but they're just not um, as efficient as a straight edged, pardon me, exhaust cap. Tweety. Yeah, lots of people just joining now and realising, hold on a minute, are there any chucks anymore? They've closed the road down or something. <laughs> yeah, just hire folks. the wing deform as in go straight look look watch the wing dip there we go as all the weight is all the pressure off of the wing and uh, the lift is lost the wing straightens out well when I say straightens out well it does straighten out it's uh, it's got a natural uh, upward angle to the wing um, but it's even more extensively flexed uh, when she's flying guessing that uh, their A220s are um, going through the normal en engine inspection procedures. That means taking the aircraft offline and meaning that they need to do um, boroscope inspections initially. Oh, high-sided truck. <laughs> Brilliant. Blimey, yeah, Chicago. This time next week, I'll be in Chicago. Here comes a whistler, listen. You know what, I know I've mentioned, I've mentioned it before. I don't think it is those um, scalloped shaped or chevron, whichever you want to call it. Chevron to me is straight edged. Scalloped is, uh, has got a, a curve to it. So that's more like a scalloped shape than it is a chevron shape to me. I think there's a possibility because it's very low air, air passing by those, um, by those scallops. I'm wondering whether it is either um, the engines themselves, the fan blades themselves making that whistling noise or whether it might be uh, the scallops. I don't know. Somebody could uh, inform us. It's 737 cockpit smaller than my truck. A truck cab is that? Hayabusa Nutter. Flea M Wings. We've got, uh, I think that's um, our Japanese member there. Um, we did try and uh, translate your name, sir. Uh, and what was it, Phil or something like that, or Tim or... <laughs> Timmy. Quite nose, nose up attitude for this three Philly. very clean airliner. Nice. Nice, very 
very nicely done. Three M wings, good afternoon to you. Uh, did you put it back on, Jilly? Did you put the... Um... Okay, put it... Okay, okay. Put it on now, mate. Put... Visions. Yeah, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't want to get into the politics of all this um, Israel and stuff like that, but I would not be happy travelling like there on an airliner or, or, or travelling there, period. Um, war is a terrible, horrible, nasty thing. Uh, that's why I don't want to really give it any airtime, to be honest with you. But I think, I'll be honest with you, in, in my eyes, the airlines are crazy flying in there. Um, regardless of what anyone else says, in terms of, you know, whether you've been assured by the aviation authorities or whatever that everything's fine, I still wouldn't be. Uh, the safety of the passengers, cabin crew, pilots, you wouldn't be happy, would you? Being assigned, being on the roster, flying into Tel Aviv, would you? Yeah, but discretion of the captain's one thing. What about the captain asking the crew, um, the cabin crew, and all those folks if they want to do it or not? Um, miles high. Is that someone scanning the same questions over and over again, do you, Santa? Gilles Riviere uh, tuning in from Paris. I can't say Dave Paris anymore, can you? Happy Paris. Oh, it's luxury this is. <laughs> Oh, a very high-sided truck, DPD. There you go. There you go. There's a three. There's a three tripler. Okay, so we've had one today so far. If I was in deep on that one, I wouldn't have got it. If I was like there, I wouldn't have got it. But uh, it's got to preempt them, really. Andrew Hickenbottom did NASA develop Jerry's new platform. 
No, Jerry did. With um, a little bit of engineering ingenuity and, um, you know, all that kind of malarkey. Uh, Miles High has gifted a membership. Thanks, Miles High. Julian has also gifted a membership. Thank you, Julian. Chicago board is crazy big airport where it's about 23, what's that? Oh, I lost that. Have you reset it, Julie? Is everything working all right? Colin Harris, yeah, we were, we were aware of that. Uh, found VA flight, I'm guessing. That's going to Cyprus, is it? Not coming back to Heathrow then. Ridders, 747, I don't mind noisy plane engines. I grew up near Heathrow and Concord. Used to fly over our playground during break time. Whoa, you lucky man. Oh man, that's gotta be the best school playground in the world, isn't it? Um, even now, I'm guessing, you know. Um, wow, how cool is that? Oh my goodness me, during play, oh. Okay. Wonder how many of your mates and friends or other people that weren't your friends even that just people from those schools go on to have some kind of a career in aviation or become you know um avid aviation fans muhammad antik good after or oh, attic sorry muhammad attik good afternoon to you my friend uh, screaming emu when you load up the wing you increase the forces placed on it for example if you bank and turn yes and there's any movement on the plane there yeah, and that's why they have uh, split um, control surfaces as well or flight controls control surfaces just because uh, it reduces the twist <laughs> much the aircraft is landing into a slight crosswind you will see the upper surfaces the speed brakes being used as well Harry Olsen the reason for your flies Be all right. EasyJet may have the same engines with the scallops. Mm, I don't think so. EasyJet, um, all their uh, all Airbus fleet, isn't it? EasyJet, of course, the three, the, the Neos, even the uh, Airbus A320 Neos, 321 Neos, um, do not have scalloped uh, engine cowls. Uh, it is primarily used on Boeing aircraft. Well, it is just used on Boeing aircraft. So it's very difficult to um, pinpoint the areas that are that are undergoing maintenance at the moment in terms of the runway um, resurfacing project that's happening here at Heathrow it's the southern runway that's uh, that's that it's happening with but they're doing it so well you just can't see the um, you can't see the points on the runway at all uh, you've got to bear in mind also that you know even on new surface areas um, there will be um, See these, uh, see some black sections there, which, you know, but I'm, I was under the understanding that it was a, you know, when you talk about resurfacing a runway, um, a runway is made up, it's very deep in terms of the, uh, the aggregate that's used to, um, to support the runway. It's a bit like foundations on a house is the best way to describe it. Um, that needs to be very, very deep. That part of it is not being replaced, I believe. It's just the upper surface, possibly, you know, the 
resurfacing. Base layer, uh, the base for the um, for the runway is a it's a very strong, well-engineered base layer, which means that uh, they don't have to keep tearing it up every X amount of years, because that would be a huge project um, and would mean complete closure of the runway. Is there a name that I can call you, uh, our Japanese member? Um, I do apologise for being possibly a little ignorant on it, I don't know, but... Uh, Trayvon, is it Trayvon? Swan 1100, very funny indeed. Going through it, let me quickly skip past all the scallop discussion. <laughs> Lights are on already, mate. Look at that. Oh wow, did you see that? Now that is um, heat vortex. Well, it's not heat vortex, it's just the heat of, from the engine mixing, uh, being mixed with the vortex of the engine. Um, and that, uh, that create, you can see the heat um, uh, swirling, which looks pretty cool, man. Has Ty gifted another 20 memberships? Uh, Ty, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. And we've also got uh, G6ZNW or ZNW, G6ZNW. Thank you for gifting five memberships as, as well. Oh, no, I'll still do that. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, here we go, Singapore Slinger. We could do that, couldn't we? Next Tuesday, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, we've got um, time to sort of like line that up, haven't you? Uh, Singapore Slinger, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, look at the plumes of exhaust coming out of the uh, two and three engines. So it does depend on the aircraft onboard systems uh, that are uh, controlling those engine, the pitch of those engines in terms of power uh, to keep it at the right speed. You might see little plumes coming out of them.
standing on the reverse thrusters, nose wheel still in the air. Don't you just want to do that, man? Don't you just want to do that? <laughs> speed adjustments indeed keeping it oh I don't know because I can't see it because um, I'm, I'm on the I'm on. okay okay yeah what the bottom left yeah yeah nice yeah yeah I would, uh, I would bring the opacity um, down a little though. Okay. Oh, high truck, high truck. Oh, it's a triple, a DPD triple. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd do, I'd do 40%, mate. Yeah, 40% is, is less opacity, is what I'm talking about. Less opacity. 60% is, is, is more opacity, 40% is less opacity, as in more viewable, less see-through. Yeah. yeah, more viewable, i.e. 40% as opposed to 60%. <laughs> no, otherwise you can't see it. I know what it is. I can see it because I know what it is. Yeah, but when did we ever do the recommended stand? Hmm. Yeah, Ty, thanks, mate. Thanks, everybody who's gifting membership. Um, it's a wonderful thing. And uh, trust me, we really, really do appreciate so much other stuff going on during the show. Um, it, uh, it's, you know, um, I can only uh, give a little bit of time to, to it. Give a little bit, give a little bit of your time for me. Da -da 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 -da. Um, Dave Mack, we are going to be on the Slinger in March. Uh, we've got four Slingers. Um, all routes we're flying on the um, Singapore Slinger. This is the Royal Jardinia. Let's see through. Four thousand as opposed to six thousand. You. Can. That's very peculiar. Zero would be fully safe, but would be full viewable. Yeah. Oh, it's the other way round, is it? Okay. Well, I always found it when I was in it in that uh, less percentage. Okay. Okay. Well, then in that case, um, six thousand. Well, well, okay, well, 8,000 then. Put it on 8,000, see what happens. Yeah, try 8,000. <laughs> Tony totally duty. Yeah, very generous gift us today. Uh, Adam Packenham, wildlife and nature. The kind of people we like wildlife and the nature people. Mick Man Everson. Um, potentially, yeah. <laughs> will be possibly a little bit more exaggerated, but... Okay. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Doesn't mean because you're doing the image at lower. Darren Nick 
because Jerry will be flying on the best airline on the best plane. Well, you know, um, I'll be honest with you, as it stands at the moment, I don't have a best airline or best aeroplane. Um, M6 Matic. Thanking everybody for the gifting. Yeah, it is a wonderful thing to do, man. You, I mean, uh, just giving people the opportunity to come and uh, join us uh, in Chicago next week. All of you gifted members will be able to join us. And also, all you new, brand new premium members, um, whenever you join, you have full access to all of our member-only shows right now. Um, so go and uh, check that out if you want. Uh, thank you to all our new subscribers as well. A very warm welcome to you. Hope it's worked for you in terms of your notifications. Um, and also, like I say, you can download the app as well. A little bit of crabbing going on with this Neo, just for a second there. Memberships. Thank you, D-Bash. Hope you're well. Darren Nichols is gifted a membership. Thank you, Darren. Uh, Sandy Humby liking that era of Mexico Dreamliner. Always the original Screamliner, that. And um, the other one. Oh, it's going to be great for the storms, isn't it? A little bit more um, lashings, I believe, uh, will be required. But these boards that can very easily fit eye hooks into them and uh, so that we can lash down in the winds. Just need to be a bit more protected in terms of my personal, um, my body. I'll tell you what, to be honest with you, right now I'm sort of like between the uh, the um, I'm between the hoodie going on and the jacket. I've got the jacket on, but I'm thinking maybe Screaming you procure and donate some speed tape. <laughs> it's expensive stuff that speed tape, isn't it? So very um very efficient speed tape. Um, doesn't come off basically. <laughs> I think they use, need to possibly use a solution to get speed tape off. Edward Morris has gifted 20 memberships. Wow Edward, thank you so much. Um, what a wonderful thing to do. What a lovely thing to do. Thank you so much.
dipping that left wing in. It's kind of standard procedure. Uh, reason for that being is the uh, is the wind is uh, left to right, south to north, sort of thing, or south um, west to east. If you see what I mean. Uh, Rohit Parkal, good afternoon. Screaming Emu saw a, uh, a certain US regional airline uh, fly an airplane with speed tape on it in the same spot for over a year. Yeah, we, do you remember? I don't know if um, we put, I, I put a little video out about it uh, quite some time ago, actually. Well, a long, long time ago. Virgin Atlantic Dreamliner, wasn't it, that had speed tape halfway around uh, the bottom half of the, uh, the ray dome. And it was the biggest, smiliest face ever. And it did make me think, why don't you do that on all planes? <laughs> I would, if I had my own airline. EK31 A380 with Emirates Airlines, nine minutes out. Thank you. Marnie Falco. Go Jets. Question. They're all questioning about which airline was. We sworn to see it. My Jet, yeah. Not like it's going to come back, is it? No one's going to sort of like, you know. Uh, um, Mr. Emi, do you mind coming into my office, please? Yeah, yeah, what's, what's, what's the problem? Well, you know, you can't be saying that you found, you see the picture, it's like... <laughs> You're on your final warning. What was my first one? And my second one. For a bit of speed tape, with my reputation. Still got his reverses up there. Half decent behind me. I see something half decent to my left as well. See, look at the crab look, folks. See, she's crabbing. Board ailerons and also wing flight surfaces as well being used to keep that aircraft nice and level. But wow, what a beautifully controlled touchdown! Piloting. Uh, Andy saying that my friend is just piloting the Virgin 330 out of Tel Aviv. Oh, well. Have a uh, big, um, look at this big lad. Look. Hurry up, son. Hurry up. Claire Bear, thank you. Everyone's 387 minutes out now. You should see that on approach. New cat, new game cat. Um, I'm not filming from a street, my friend. I'm filming from a field. Oh, you know, 
doesn't surprise me. I think they should have done it a few days ago or even, even as soon as all that malarkey happened, all that big sort of like overnight attacks happened, they should have just stopped all flights. But there you go. Stephen Owen. Uh, you've done a virgin simulator, you now need to do a truck simulator. Air brakes, check. Jane Reeve, and clap. RD1. Stephen Liddington, a very warm welcome back, Stephen. First class member going to be joining us in Chicago, Chicago next uh, next week. This time next week, folks. I'll be stateside. I think he's a dream pilot. Oh, oh no, look at this lovely airliner. Look. One of the best liveries on the 350. Almost Boac esque. got the cheat line. Easy, easy. Just covered it. Nicely done. Okay, now, can I... Hilary Olsen. Just saw the irony about the bothersome lines. It's amazing, isn't it? Go to all this bleeding hard work. Eliminate all the trees, all the lampposts, all the flipping trucks, all the buses, all of this and all of that. And now we've got flies. <laughs> uh, 17th Mustang, European Airways are very busy at the moment. Can't go over Ukraine, can't go over Israel. No, you cannot. Um, James Dayton has gifted 10 memberships. Thanks, James. A lovely thing to do, my friend. Uh, that aircraft turning left from 27 left and um, exiting for uh, Taxiway Sierra, I think it is. Oh, have I? Have I? Oh. oh. Screaming Emu has gifted five. Sorry, have I missed? Eve Hoskud has gifted five as well. Thank you, Eve. Thank you, Screaming Emu. Um, well, hold on a minute. I've got. Uh, I've got Eve Hoskud, there we go. Eve Hoskud has gifted five, thank you. Screaming Emu you've gifted five. Yeah, I only missed two, Chili. Still used to it and I don't have to worry about it at all man. Like you know, it's um it's fantastic. Go on about it forever and ever. Deborah LV is a brand new member. Welcome Deborah. Um I think I got Deborah uh, no I have now. Karen Northengul has um North Nargol, sorry, Karen has upgraded to first class. Thank you, Karen. Um, Ian Williams has also upgraded to first class, no doubt uh, getting themselves ready for Chicago next week. Two days in Chicago, folks. Pids1990, thanks Pids, has gifted a membership, that's very kind of you. And Sadana Kal Kalsa is a brand new member uh, on Big Jet TV. A very well warm welcome to you, my friend. Welcome all of our new members. Make sure, folks, subscribe to the channel. It's imperative that you do. Not because we want subscribers, not because we're crying out for them. It's just we want to be sure that you don't miss out on anything. Um, but when you do subscribe, make sure you put your notifications on. Very important that you do that. Um, and a very warm welcome to you. I hope you're well and I hope you uh, enjoy your stay here with Big Jet TV. Lots of people have been here for many, many years, really, literally. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh-ho-ho! Jab it like it's up. New game cat. A gifted street going. <laughs> is still out there in service David K. Um, he thinks airlines cut the Queen from their ranks a little too early. Miss me the Queen's bring on Anchorage. David, yes, it will happen. Don't you worry about it. I've already got me, um, I've got all me really cold weather gear ready for uh, for the next, well actually for next week. In, I don't know what the weather's like in Chicago. It's, it's surely quite cold there now, I would have thought. Um, but, um, but yeah, Always a delight to see a 747 in it. Two in at uh, Heathrow today. Missed both of them. <laughs> Bulgaria Air's new A220 on its way in as well. Wow, how many flights has that had? Not that many, I would have thought. Deborah Elvey is a new member. Welcome, Deborah. And James Dayton has gifted 10 memberships. Or is that uh, is that old? But James, thanks, James. Or is my text as my um, yeah? Uh, Catherine Green has gifted a membership. Blimey, it's just going so quick. I do apologise if I've missed anyone. Um, Jill Dore class livery. I think she might be referring to uh, the China Southern. Uh, 350 livery which we'll see we'll get a little shot of her through the gap there again now I've got a better shot of the um, slightly better shot of the uh, the bread bin as it's called that's why it's called a bread bin folks look now you can clearly see why it's called the bread bin okay so rain so wet and relatively cold 13 degrees yeah degrees or not good for here, yeah, five degrees less than what it is, yeah, 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 seal skin layer, uh, Adam Ross, yes, we are aware of the um, BA jet returning um, to Heathrow and also, um, was it something to do with the Virgin jet that's um, flying out of Tel Aviv and I think Virgin will very shortly be um, uh, making an announcement as well that they are uh, they're going to be uh, postponing all flights out of Tel Aviv for the time being anyway John Scott giving a shout out for the gifted membership thank you John looks like Christmas come early on Big Jet TV today what's that there's your gym it's 380 wow thank you everybody honestly uh, it is very humbling when people uh, people gift membership. It's a wonderful thing to do, and a, 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 an amazing privilege to uh, to be able to do it as well. Um, but again, don't feel don't feel in any way um, pressured or, uh, to give mem to give membership. The fact that you are members is a wonderful, wonderful thing, folks. Um, we have humbled to have you on board. Um, what a lot of people call. Um, the most uh, respectful and calming community uh, on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, Painter Girl, I missed what Jerry did about the truck problem. Uh, in extension, um, Painter Girl, uh, Vera Provolanov, Provoznik, Kova, um, Vera has gifted five memberships. Thank you, Vera. Again, a lovely thing to do. Thank you, folks. Last time I know, landed at Heathrow on a Kenya Airways flight it was an old rust bucket 707 Darren Nichols. Wow. Yeah, lovely though, man. What a quality jetliner. Old school. Here we go. Emirates. Lined up. Oh! 
Oh, nicely recovered. Wow. Tiger 74. Thank you, Tiger 74. It's gifted five memberships as well. Wow. Karen. Uh, Sleepy Panda Mouse. <laughs> it's a, has upgraded to first class. Sleepy Panda Mouse. Oh. Bikes and stuff. Uh, welcome to premium bikes and stuff. Oh, now you can see her in all her glory. Look at this. That's a cheap line. Look at that. What a jetliner. Vagabundo, uh, aviation. Uh, Vagabundo, uh, good afternoon to you, uh, brand new member. Welcome to you, Big Jet TV member. Trevor Lyon, no, we have not enabled gift. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, one must enable gifting if one wants to, um, on this channel, I think it is, um, if you want to become a uh, gifted, you allow gift. A little bit of preset coming my way right now. I think it might be time for the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ethan Pope, rudder wagging in the wind like an excited dog. Um, was that um, Ethan? Was that on the on the touchdown or uh, or during the approach? Has been known to uh, move that rudder. Uh, the 380. Uh, it's a split rudder. Oh look, this is the um, this is even greyer, isn't it? It's a, it? Oh, is it a CRJ with the um, with the uh, the little um... ah look at it there. Very Allenson, I think it is the either Allenson or Allison uh, engines on that aircraft. Lots of history and heritage. Um, with the Allison Company, much like General Electric and Rolls Royce and everything, but one of the um, little-known um, uh, uh, engine suppliers, the Allison. And I'm guessing they are um, uh, quite a, a major supplier for the uh, for the for the um, for the private jet market. But um, yeah, a lot of heritage with those Allison engines. Morrison, lovely man, 350. Great looking livery, HGC, saying on China Southern. Um, Alex Hilton, simple but effective. Well, if you are, um, if you have been, oh, if you have been, if you are still, or you are, um, oh, hello, rain, rain, rain. Stand by, stand by. Oh, mate. I wasn't expecting this until about 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, we need to effect a cover up here. Okay, now it's coming down. Flipping egg. Where's it? Was it enough to wet the ground or was it just... Was it... 
No, it's just spots, yeah? Like, bit, bop, bit, bit, bop. Okay, all right, okay. Let me go and put the standby, folks. Just hold on one second. Um, I reckon I can make it before the next one comes in. late isn't it wasn't it Roger who told us oh, Roger uh, John H no we um, that that was that was that was a tried and sort of like tested and sort of like not that effective Efficient, I have to say, um, the um, <laughs> that system. Jeffrey Dingle, were not Allison turbo props on the Electra? Very possibly, Tony. Um, the Lockheed Electra is, of course. Amazing, it's a triple seven six next to that three eight. Thomas Leesk is a brand new member. Welcome, Thomas. Oh, easy there, son. Hey, hey! Oh, man, this is going to be great in a windy show, Jilly. Oh, I've got lashing um, points and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Ha ha! <laughs> I think the funniest, uh, what is it, a um, image, picture. We've got lots of other things as well, but the funniest one was the fellow with the stack of pallets. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Look at that, it's a double Qatar. Two Qatar jets. That's a freighter. That's a Say, uh, I don't know if Screaming Amy or other pilots will uh, agree with me here, but I'd say that um, in terms of 
learning to fly. Um, the hardest part has definitely got to be landing. Um, taking off is a relatively straightforward procedure, uh, unless it's in very high crosswinds or whatever, uh, in, which take, in which case it just involves a lot of rudder. <laughs> um, and um, the uh, taxiing. Taxiing was the hardest thing that um, that I found when I was uh, when I was on the uh, Dreamliner with Virgin Atlantic um, with our good friend um, Zane Dunning. That was a great day. That was spindly, massive gravy undercarriage on it. Not massive, but it touch it how tall it is. Um, Oh, Chrissy was responsible for the pallet gif. Chrissy, it was hilarious, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. Did make me laugh. We had people on, um, on all sorts of... Wow. Gareth Herford Jones is a brand new member. Welcome, Gareth. And Ty, honestly, what can we say? Um, yeah, yeah, having over the time gifted uh, over a thousand memberships, you are a legend, sir, along with all our other members, uh, gifting memberships, whether it's one or 50, it doesn't it, you are just uh, amazing people to be able to do that, thank you so much. BA had two 318s in the past based at London City for JFK, all business class flights, but they got rid of them a couple of years ago, John H saying, yes indeed. Um, I think they only. I think they only had um, uh, uh, seating for around about 50 passengers, did, didn't they? On the um, on the 318, obviously uh, long-range tanks and all that kind of thing. Modified A318. Uh, Steve Oddy, I'm not parked any closer to the road than I normally am. It is interesting to. Uh, I know. So many, so many regular gifters, and um, I don't want to. I don't want to set that, you know, separate people up and all that kind of thing. Because everyone is just as we are, just as um, you know, Nick. And, well, it's just, just so many of you know, D Bash. And, you know, just so many guys out there, and Chicky, and so many guys and folks out there that are just wonderful people. Uh, Ostringer has upgraded to first class. Welcome to first class, Ostringer. Uh, Spooky Cindy favourites has gifted a membership. Thank you, Spooky Cindy. Uh, didn't Captain Dave used to fly the 318 from LCY to JFK? Melanie, yes, he did. Hello, oh, big lad. Windscreen wipers just yet. Road surface is ever so slightly damp. Uh, screaming Emu. Oh yeah, yeah, j j totally screaming Emu. I wouldn't even wouldn't even want to start on that part about the uh, uh, is the flight management system um, and how to program it and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, obviously if you spent enough time schooling it, it yeah, you, you would understand it um, because there obviously are, um, the procedures are all the same every time in terms of their, uh, uh, their order of, of, of input. 
if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, something that would obviously, you know, like calculating, uh, putting it input into the flight management system, uh, amount of fuel, uh, the weight of the aircraft, overall weight of the aircraft, um, the um, passenger numbers, the, the weight of that, everything, you know, the takeoff weight, that would then, the flight management system would then dictate the length of uh, the, the, um, the V1R speed, um, you know, all that kind of cool stuff. There's a whistler. I'm wondering if it is at certain speeds that those engines whistle like that. Brian Pounder has gifted a membership. Brian, thank you very much indeed. Off to Sid's ejection. He's back. Even the big things like that don't get in our way now. Uh, mm, mm. I would like to go up another 100 mil though. <laughs> no, 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 because just, just, just see this lamppost here. Another 100 mil, I reckon I'd get that out of the, uh, I'd get that out of the, out of the shop. Um, but I'm not going to do it. I think we're all good. I think we're all good, man. God's sake. Be like the leaning Tower of Pisa before you know it. <laughs> Too top heavy. Going over, we're going over. Timber! Flipping neck fly, city man. Otherwise known as altitude flies, I believe. I've read them on the other uh, height. <laughs> you only see these flies at this altitude. <laughs> Is that Ty gifting another 20 memberships, Jilly, or am I? Thank you so much, Ty. Got my stringer upgrading to first class, I think. Nick Gray has gifted 20 memberships. Did I? I missed Nick. I know I did. Uh, James Dayton has gifted 10. Edward Morris has gifted 20. Blimey O'Reilly. Um, thank you, everybody. You are amazing. Go on, son. Go on, son. It's going to take off, isn't he? It's either that or he's nicked it. <laughs> we do put quite well in the BMX race, that fella. Ride is ready. Watch the lights. You have to uh, remove the flat cap though and put a helmet on, of course. No, I want to wear my flat cap for racing, I do. Flat cap. Give me a feeling of self-security and all that. Um, anybody got... Here's a, here's, a, here's, a, here's a challenge for you. Anybody got a uh, timestamp for when I did the little bit about the height adjustment? Because then... We can pin that and people can scroll back to it. Uh, Sam the Man, exactly, there we go for Sam the Man. Uh, in terms of the, a picture, I probably will take a picture. Uh, Lucy McCluskey, Eater bringing their A220 in in one hour. <laughs> oh, 
Paul Sathran. Billy was Sathran. On the bike. <laughs> that is hilarious, man. <laughs> around about 3 p.m. Steve saying. Uh, Melanie, it was when I was making a cuppa, around 2.45 to 2.50. The rapid cuppa. Steve Marling giving a shout out to Ty from Scott and thank you, D-Bash Mode. probably nip down now take a picture of it couldn't I and uh, and, and then come back up and show people stand by stand by phone oh, hold on a minute I've got Dreamliner right behind me don't want to miss this wait till there's a, a bit of a gap I'm only another one point oh we've got a bit of water on the left than my cat. Okay. Okay, let's just get out of the lens first. Grab this first, stand by. Give a little bit of love to the single aisles. Give a little bit. Okay, so here it is, folks. There it is, folks. See? You can see the extension. <laughs> How cool is that? Hey? Look at that! Healthy safety precautions take do you do. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> How do you turn it off? How do you actually turn it off, Jilly? No, that's me accidentally pressing that, but yeah, I know, I know, mate, I know, but like, you know. You They start a video call halfway through during a call, we can't turn it off, is that right? Sunny Sophie, uh, welcome back Sunny. I do not drive with it. 
that's all um, it's all uh, it takes around about 20 minutes to assemble the top section obviously the lower section is um, is uh, I drive with the lower section on but not all the time that's uh, it's only done when I'm um, Just the way he types, isn't it? It's probably the way he just lays his text out. A Sandy Feet LL plane was given a police escort out of LAX on Sunday. Wow! Picture. I've got but I've got bashboards either side um, to uh, protect myself. Got a little bit of tweaking to do, a little tiny little bit of tweaking to do on the boards themselves, um, just in terms of their length. They're just a little bit over two and a half meters in length, so I'm probably going to nip about 150 mil off either end, um, just to make it a bit more transportable. Really, in terms of their um, in terms of their uh, their the, the grip. Um, because they are untreated boards, it means that they're quite uh, quite grippy. But I will be putting some um, some um, material on them to to uh, for the for the for the winter season. that when you when you land and you all that inertia all that inertia kind of like wants to send the aircraft because um, it becomes a vehicle doesn't it it's it's, a, it's an aeroplane doing 120 130 knots and all, all of a sudden becomes a vehicle then you're rolling on the wheels um, without the um, the engine power because you've idled back uh, on the engines and of course you are then using reverse thrusters uh, and everything else but that initial inertia movement would be something that you sort of like just have to um, be prepared for and allow it to happen if you know what I mean Harley One one of my favourite airlines what's that Harley One Paul Probert Keith Robinson, we love you. <laughs> God, they're yeah, Morocco bringing their Dreamliner in today. Sometimes it's the Max that they bring in. E and D. I love my fireworks, Ian. Um, so, let's see, what day is fireworks night? Bonfire night. The trouble is, people have them at all different times, didn't they, on different days? Is it on a Sunday? Ha ha ha! Oh man, that is yes, so the answer to that is yes. We will be having a Sunday. In fact, we'll do it from the courtyard, eh? Because then we can see right the way over London, like we, um, mind you, that's not all at once like New Year's, is it? It's like, um, yeah, they start as, yeah, as soon as it gets dark, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, right, okay, who have I missed here? Oh my goodness me, Kevin Pride is a returning member. Welcome back, Kevin. Um, 
Aviation in 4K somewhere. I got Edward Morris, did I? Uh, we got Nick Gray. And we got Ty again, didn't we? Um, blimey, BA165 to Tel Aviv turned around. Yes, indeed it is. Um, not sure what, uh, when's, when's Halloween? Uh, what day, what uh, day is Halloween, Jerry? Oh, there we go. Melanie saying my Japanese speaking daughter says our Japanese member is called Taibon. Exactly like Jilly said. So Taibon, thank you. Wow, thank you. Love the old Lufthansa livery, much better than the new one. As far as new liveries go, um, revised liveries, I have to say, I have to say um, Lufthansa have done a half decent job. It's a very simplistic livery, I have to say, but this, um, this old Lufthansa livery looks just so great. The reason being is because it doesn't bleed down onto the bleeding, it doesn't bleed onto the, ooh, very high truck there. Um, it doesn't uh, bleed down onto the fuselage like uh, modern day liveries do. Um, I seem to prefer it old school style with it, with it just on the tail um, like that. Uh, Rohit Parker, Eater, 320, incoming. It's 10 to 10. I, I mean 10 to 5. <laughs> <laughs> hey, should have been in bed 10 minutes ago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is it? Hey. <laughs> Nick Gray, the American knows the answer for Guy Fawkes. There was bleeding rocks, squirrels everywhere. Quite odd cockpit window frame on the Ram 787, Roger Ward saying. Alex Hilton worked halfway up the Canary Wharf. Yeah, that's so why we'll definitely do a show from. Um, from the courtyard, so that we can get the uh, we can get the fireworks. Danny Coltrane, no truck TV. All right, you know. Um, little truck activity, I have to say. Let's just sling it on this, shall we now? Because I think we're kind of getting to that, uh, getting to that point now. Can be welcoming all new members. Oh, is this Eater's Jet? This is Eater's 220. No, 320, that is. No. No, that's not three. That's not two twenty. It's a three twenty. It's a neo. It's a neo. Best way to finish off that eater livery is that eyeliner around the cockpit windows on some of them but not on all of them which kind of like it's the same thing in it lance d and Hanty for the south d-batch mode fireworks are awesome they are 
they are. Even the uh, cheapest um, low budget firework um, firework kit you can buy are, are quite good, aren't they? Um, Leopoldo Pinzon, my favourite livery. Thank you, Leopold. I will name you Leopoldo. Brilliant. It's a good name, you landed with the baby. Wow. There have been a few, uh, there have been a few big wide bodies that have landed uh, smooth. called a silent fireworks would be better for animals yeah yeah I know what you're saying because I'm obviously uh, you know um, you know I'm uh, always very conscious uh, David Mead eat a tail reminds me of red arrows now is you know what is he right <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure that out, but I know what he's talking about in funny sort of way. Hang seven eight seven. of attack of that 350 see the way that that uh, it's I think it's quite a obviously when they're training pilots the angle of attack is quite critical well, not crucial so to speak but it is um it, it just enables the the undercarriage so the undercarriage is tilted but um in fact I don't know if it is to be perfectly honest I think the undercarriage is level but they bring the aircraft up at uh no, the undercarriage is tilted forward, I think, slightly, um, so that when they um, raise the nose, it levels the undercarriage out. I think it's something like that, anyway. Big lag being pushed. See the, uh, the um, near side, as you can see, the... Um, the right hand elevator now coming up to its neutral position because the uh, system, I think the engines have been fired up. Nice triple, nice triple. Let's get a tight shot on her. A350 does 
does seem to be angled more towards putting all the wheels down at the same time, but all the other heavy jets put one set down before the other. Scream Emu, yeah. Uh, more so the, um, well, the A330 being one of them that has that uh, double cart system, which uh, you definitely feel as a passenger, you feel the back set come down and then the front set comes down. Uh, always but seems to be the same way with the 330. 350, like you say, it's, um, it does seem to be a, um, a, a case of angle of attack of the landing of the aircraft. Boeing Boy 22 is a return member. Welcome back, Boeing Boy. Aviation in 4K, A350 a 900, it's a high angle of attack, the gear also looks sort of level, yeah. But they look level when it is when it is literally over the runway. Uh, you can see that, um, but obviously, if the, um, if the aircraft was to be pitched forward, uh, it would more or less bring the front set down first, I would have thought. Tiger 74 is upgraded to first class. Tiger 74 going to be joining us. Don't forget next week, folks. Uh, one more show to go before Chicago. The Sunday show, and then we're off to Chicago. Nice F and F check. Let's size it out rather man. Elevators. Speed brakes. What will be next? That's a big, big set of speed brakes on that man. Just everything is massive on that jet liner. Say it okay. Little move. Six miles to Chicago for a uh, screaming emu. Just uh, it's an hour and something. Mark with them. Thank you, Mark. Like in the chat. <laughs> 
Hamad Khan, lovely the stream to be flying from Heathrow on Sunday, I think, and it's from Qatar Airways. Wow. Hello, what's this? This is Red Devils. This is Brussels, Red Devils. Yeah, the new Brussels. The 20 livery. Uh, when I say new, it's not a new livery. They've, they've um, <coughs> had that livery for quite some time, but I think the original jet was um, retired and they've um, repainted an another one. That, that fella that came and met me up on the parking lot that the morning when I left, before I left. Uh, didn't we look at Honolulu, Jilly? Rick, um, what was the outcome? Anniversary on November the 1st. Yeah, in terms of our uh, in terms of our positioning at um, different airfields, we obviously. Oh. <laughs> as much research as we possibly can before going to any airport, um, especially, well, overseas. We don't just pitch up there, it'd be a crazy thing to do. Uh, 
Um, obviously there have been some instances where we've been to airports for the first time. Obviously that has to happen. And uh, sometimes it's a little bit more Long way off that. Scotty Salmi. Scott and Brenda. Hello, what's going on over there? Roger Norseworthy, DHL 330. Uh, number five on approach to 27 left. Possibly another fuel spill or a um, smoke in the cockpit kind of thing, you know. Kathy Horvath tuning in from Anaheim, California. Celebrating a hundred years, wow. It always seems to be much more of a planted uh, touchdown with the 350, doesn't it? Oh, Mustang Dad, I like that. Um, heard, heard someone refer to the exhaust heat haze as jelly. Well, I call it um, heat vortex. A bit more of a sort of like... Um, technical term but jelly I like that jelly vortex suffer 63 looks like we probably will be meeting up with the uh, the folks at Sid squad uh, they have reacted and said that they will be there um, obviously is there they are the the, the locals Long way off though. Lots of places to visit, lots of streams to do between now and then. Aviation for K. Atlanta has 192 gates. Really well does make and a train system to connect as well. Brand new aeroplane that folks, I think. Or near to it. How was that then, screaming? A little bit sort of like, you know, boom, sort of like. It was going very nicely until it sort of like something sort of like, you know, went a little bit bumped. John loving the American Airlines livery. Simple as that. Thank you, John. One air 747 400 left the coast of Belgium. 26, 27 minutes. Mike James, she's 20, she's 27 minutes out of Heathrow, Julie. Oh wow, we've got a jumbo jet, folks. That's a brand new aeroplane, is it, Julie? Bulgaria. Logistic nightmare. You start doing stuff like that, then you start relying on other people. You start relying on other people. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he couldn't make it today. Well, we told everyone that we were going to be streaming. Well, he can't because his granny's broken her fingernail. Oh. You start relying on other people, mate. That's when you... 
starts falling apart and scoring you. Uh, thank you, Mike James, again. Brand new Bulgaria Air 220, that was it. Thank you for that, Michael McEwen. Aviation 4K, bring your Australian accent. Oh, I'm better over it. Well, I might have there, but uh, it's all a bit of fun, isn't it? Okay, so here's the A330 with the big droopy undercarriage on it. Always um, touches down on the, uh, the rear set. You really do feel it as a passenger. Both this and the new, no change to the undercarriage sound. Quite heavy, man. Yeah, nice. Oof and Biff. David Ace. Tiger 74. But Dave Carrington, one air, 747, 26 minutes out. Awesome, man. Uh, Adam Ross, any thoughts on filming from Joburg or Tambor? Joburg is something that we could possibly do. How many operators flying at Joburg is the question. Yeah, Jilly, you could almost sit down under the roof, couldn't you? A bit of a crook neck by the time you finish, though. Or a lot of a lot a lot of bumps and bumps on your head. Be like, oh, Ginny's just knocked her head again. <laughs> You're right down there. Tim wrote on that you could have crews all over the world and Jerry can sit in his own providing the car. Oh no, Tim. That's what I was talking about just then. Uh, no. The answer to that is absolutely negatory. That's when you start relying on people and they're like, yeah, can't make it because um, the Paris got to go to the hairdressers. <laughs> He's very fussy about his hair, you know. Can't you rebook it? No! Yeah, but we're like, no! Wow, in all the shows that we've been filming here, it's the first time I've ever had to, never, not had to think, oh, for God's sake, it comes to trouble. <laughs> Anything else I can moan about? Screaming Emu. I think he's talking about the touchdown of the Bulgarian, possibly. Nice touchdown. I liked that one. The A220 really does just drop once those boards come out. But you can feel it in the cockpit. That's what I was talking about. I think that's what I was maybe talking about was as soon as, soon as the speed brakes were up. Did um, see the thing drop. somebody else's term then I'll, I'll not use it unless it's it is an official aviation term uh, I generally tend to stick to my own definitions and and the little things that I make up I know people have copied me and fair enough they want to do that then no stopping them really I feel quite honored that people copy me to be honest with you um, 
someone recently doing a t-shirt design that was just a direct copy of the tweet that I put out about six months ago. But there we go. Oh, nice Max. Take it to the Max. those uh, flight surfaces on the wings there being used wow nice bit of vortex heat vortex there you see the the big boards as um screaming emu calls them they're actually uh officially uh ground spoilers or um or air brakes they're also air brakes it's got two usage is 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 um but they also because that max doesn't have um Flapperons. They actually use the um, those boards at a very shallow angle, also on approach sometimes in um, particularly in windy conditions. Windy. Oh, this sounds big behind me. JB, welcome to Premium JB. Help yourself to all of our international shows, if you like. Scroll all the way back to when we started doing them for members only, folks. If you're a new member, first superclass or uh, or premium, whatever, whatever um, you uh, can go and check out all of our um, previous member only shows and see what's coming up for uh, Chicago next time. It's a shame that people can't search the members' uh, library for specific locations, isn't it, like Chicago? stiff neck <laughs> at the end of the street. I have to have the tripod, the camera at a uh, specific angle um, that works for me in terms of my visual monitoring the monitor. Sorry. Nick Gray watching the old Big Jet Shit TV shows is a hoot. There we go. Uh, Ruby Campbell. All the best to you Ruby. Cutter. So quite a um, quite a big deal this uh, BA flight returning from Tel Aviv, ladies and gents. And um, looks like we're going to uh, we're going to catch it. Um, I think the um, Look how tiny that 350 looks, mate. That's insane, isn't it?
Oh, I know. I know. Oh, matey, the, the, the one with the most... Well... Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's not the most excitable bloke in the world. Has got a very mundane voice like that when he's doing his reporting. This aircraft returned from Tel Aviv today to London Heathrow after all flights to this like <laughs> I bet you're a flipping life and soul of the party down the boozer. Just another pint please, John, thanks very much. Oh. <laughs> Johnny Peanuts? No, thank you, John. <laughs> How about Chris? What's a game of pool? Me! Uh, uh, no, you're alright, John. Oh, actually, you know what I might do because I quite enjoy playing pool. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's the last time we hear from him. <laughs> Let's see if I've got him on the contacts. It was BBC, wasn't it? It's BBC. I've got loads of them here. Tom! It's Tom, isn't it? It's Tom. <laughs> <coughs> oh, his last uh, message to me was bloody hell, Jerry, you're everywhere. Oh, nice. Here we go, look. Right, messaging him now. <laughs> Hello, Tom. <laughs> It's delivered. Tom has received the message. So that's BBC London potentially taken care of. Who have we got on the ITV list? Jonathan Watts! Shannon from um, from Britain's busiest airport, isn't it? I don't think I've got anyone on the um, on the books for uh, Adam. Adam. Oh, okay. This might be good, Adam.
Oh, yeah, that's the other thing I need to check is the battery life, isn't it? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It's the old faithful going out. That thing has done unbelievable amount of mileage. This is the BBC. Yeah! It's quite rampant, that uh, equal text here. I think uh, Pork Sword Captain is a brand new member. Welcome, sir. Madam. Neil Underwood, missing the trucking rants. <laughs> oh, cheers, Tomo. He's messing me back. Cheers. Okay, well. I know, I know. Hello, Mark. <laughs> Luke Riggs giving a shout out for the gifted membership. Welcome on board, Luke. One Air 747 in from Astana. Eight minutes, Diane 78. You want to see a jumbo jet, ladies and gentlemen? Jet land from this new position. Get sharing with your uh, with your colleagues and your family and your friends. Check out this great position on Big Jet TV. Same as it was before, but uh, a new elevated position. Ruby Campbell sooner 747 comes in. Diesel one three seven forty seven eight minutes out. Leroy G unit over Enfield. In the meantime, this looks like Air China A three fifty. Freddy O seven forty seven going to be cool. Put the lunch on. Oh no, this is not. Uh, this is not. This is some China Airlines, isn't it? Isn't this China Airlines, not Air China? Oh, truck! 
That was a very high-sided truck. One today, one today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he was a very high truck, but that's it. Gary Boak's paddock's always been the favourite location. Made it even better, yes we have Gary. <laughs> <The alarm. laughs> might need some oxygen sent up here. It's gonna get a bit, I think it might be snowing later up here. Jack, yes, it is supposed to be fairly windy on Friday, or was that wind? Uh, sorry, uh, rain. It's more rain than winds on Friday, is that right? Or... Michael McEwen. Richard, big truck TV returns. Top of truck TV, possibly. Tom just said cheers, Julie. I don't think, I don't know if he, I, I don't know if he, he, if he thinks I'm just like, oh wow, Tom, guess what? Or if it's like, hey Tom, just can you let the other guys know that I'm filming it, you know? I don't know, whatever. Wow, get the day's first snow in Scotland. Blimey, blimey. Right. There's that little. Some of that. Right. Stood on those CFMs, didn't he? Phil Sky loving the China Airlines livery. It was Taiwan National Day yesterday. Oh. Happy Taiwan National Day to all our uh, Taiwani friends. Taiwanese, should I say. Back to fish lock. Little Moose 747 lining up. There she is. That's her there. No, not quite yet. Let's see if we can catch her uh, appearing. Seven by the looks of it. Oh, okay, she's fourth in line, Captain Ron saying. Won't get that yet. One, two, buckle my shoe. <laughs> Johnson loving the new elevation for the camera. Got to look into the cockpit for the Would be nice. But it's a little bit dangerous, I think. We crown for a new 220.
trip line. <laughs> Nice, yeah. Now this is China, uh, Air China's triple, isn't it? Christopher Hewitt tuning in from Boston, Massachusetts. Great to see you here, Christopher. Apparently smiling China livery, this. down the middle. Look at that. Oh, nice bit of downwash. High truck, high truck. <laughs> See what I mean about the extra 100 mil. And we will completely eliminate the aforementioned high trucks. So, uh, I think we need to go another 100 mil up. There's that 747-2 out now. American triple before it, I think. HGC, HC311 over North Sheen. Dorset Aviator. They're just over Richmond Park right now, looking down on the Thames. Executed touchdown. Here she comes, folks. Here she comes, Queen of the Skies. Jumbo alert, jumbo alert. Yeah, Steve probably mentioned that American not on flight radar. A couple of people saying that. Michael G. Kelly loving the sounds. Awesome. Listen to this, Michael. got enough flat there yeah they're just ginormous aren't they that and the triple seven but look at the size of the flaps on the jumbo man monstrous things look barn doors aren't they hey
I heard from a very good uh, friend of mine that apparently the uh, the Sims at uh, Heathrow, the British Airways Sims, are actually um, there are two 747 Sims in there, along with 787s, 777s, and so on and so forth. And the 747 Sims are the most in demand, believe it or not. Um, so still lots of pilots, um, shortage of pilots for these big freighters and also potentially, you know, because um, they they literally rent them out. Lots of money. No, Okay, folks, so we have BA. What is the uh, flight number, Julie, for the Tel Aviv? Uh, did they turn back? Did they turn back? Wow. BA165. Okay, she'll be on flight radar. Uh, heavily, I would have thought. Um, BA165, folks. got as far as Jordan. That's a very unhappy. Well, I say very unhappy passages on that plane, but I mean, you know, you got to. Uh, uh, Will W BA165 pa passing Paris at this moment. Let's see if I can bring it up, folks. Let's um, go fly a kite. She almost got down to his rail. For uh, BA, no doubt, pulled the plug, I would imagine. Wow, she was on descent. Oh my goodness me. She was on approach to Tel Aviv, this jet, folks. Wow. Oh my goodness. What's the flight time? What's the flying time? Well, it'll be visible. Oh, this is Eaters 220, folks. Here we go. First sighting on Big Jet TV. All the lights ablaze. They would have been discussing it on the way there, wouldn't they? Oh, okay. Uh, right. Oh, okay. I've got you. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Thank you, Sue. For that updated information and so apparently the uh there was a um a threat of a rocket attack on the airport and uh, no doubt as a result of that ba put the plug on it Let's see if i can pick her up so she's just over paris was it um okay i think i've got her yeah there we go um Eight hours, 21 minutes ago, that aircraft um, still on there as London to Tel Aviv. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, XWBF, Bravo Foxtrot, folks. Oh, wow. British Airways, A350. Um, returning from having aborted its arrival into Tel Aviv and literally we're led to believe from Tel Aviv um, let's just have a little look here and see if, what the line shows wow look at that yeah there we go look wow that's insane man she was right there what's this one 
Is that is that the Virgin flight? No, that's um. No. no that's insane. I mean, um, you know, in, in the interests of safety, obviously, and a fully appreciative. However, um, regardless of which, which whichever way you look at it, uh, passengers not going to be happy. But then again, um, count yourselves lucky that uh, BA pulled the plug on it. I would say because they're only thinking of you, they're not thinking of anything else but yourselves. Can you imagine if they allowed it to continue and... Um... Yeah, be a wonderful thing, would it? If anything, uh, don't be right to BA complaining, right to BA to say, you know, thanks. For, uh, thanks for um, thinking of us. Uh, Philip Lowry, uh, British Airways flight from Tel Aviv, uh, from London Heathrow, got to Tel Aviv. And, uh, Cheetah 1903, yeah, uh, it is amazing that they have enough fuel um, because I wonder if they did fuel that aircraft up with a big contingency payload of fuel. What do you think about that, uh, pilots? Michael Barber, Tony McCall, they probably fueled to get back anyway in case there were issues. There we go, Tony saying it uh, for me, really. Uh, you know the uh, the fuel load of an aircraft always allows for a certain amount of contingency a bit like a financial budget always allowing for overruns or uh, unexpected circumstances but in this particular case normally I wouldn't have thought that they would fuel her up enough to be able to bring her all the way all the way there and all the way back of course uh, they do it with um, with um, left London Heathrow VJ men and there. Yeah, VJ, very good point. Yeah, may have even um, allowed for, 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 for lack of fuel availability in Tel Aviv. That's a very good point, that. A bit like Iran Air, really. Mars High. Well, one doesn't know. Uh, the only people who know that are British Airways, of course.
Has, uh, has anyone done a, 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 a timestamp on the cyclist? Not just that. A man seen cycling very fast on a live stream aviation show. <laughs> ATR. Is it a 42? Is it a 72? Philip Lowry, indeed, better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, you don't take risks. You just, um, you don't take risks. Jules Aris. Uh, Steve Owens, Doha 777 due very soon. Nigel Gay, Virgin 333 VS458 from Tel Aviv, now over Greece, currently um, ETA 841. Well, we won't be here for that one, Nigel, but we are certainly going to be here for this BA jet. Yeah, US is around about 100 tons, between 90 and 100 tons, depending on um, the... Uh, Aircraft type. Watch the props go into reverse pitch. Love a turbo prop, don't we? Hey, hey! Oh, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. Uh, Melanie, yes, Captain Dave. Oh, look. Rick Ends tuning in from Canada. Good day, Rick. So he's got the eyeliner on. Look. Dash 900 maximum, 141,000 litres or uh, AH mark, thank you. This is the uh, Qatar jet. Oh, that's a livery in it. Got a football team on the side of it. Got a footballer doing a um, flip kick, a bit of a Dexter. Nice! Yeah! All these trucks going past me. Oh, I love it. Stephen Batty, you're right. He was, the, the pedal was clanking against the chain guard. Dink, dink, dink. Or actually, it was like dink, 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 dink. Big Mac, has there ever been a trial of mid-air refueling for passenger aircraft? Well, um, not as far as I'm aware. Uh, I think um, Air Force One has the uh, mid-air refueling capability. Um, of course, there's a lot of hardware um, that needs to be added to an aircraft to give it mid-air-to-air -air refueling capability. Um, plus it doesn't really warrant it, does it? Um, you know, because you calculate how much fuel you need uh, for the flight, plus all the contingencies, like I say. Um, so that's why probably it's never been really uh, examined long before. Screaming Emu, yeah, that's actually a good point. That's actually a good point. Um, what's the deal? I think it's, what's the maximum crew allowance time-wise? I think it's, isn't it, is it 11 hours or 12 hours or something like that? So they'll be, they'll be well within it. But, um, you know. 
Dorset Radio, DHL 757, just aborted at takeoff at Tel Aviv. Oh dear. Another KNF Embraer um, Profit Hunter jet. Graffy Tensier. Could be on the 10 o'clock news, Jilly, if they, if they work it right. Scropey, good afternoon to you. Forward to London Heathrow yesterday from Washington on United. Great airline would have been here earlier, but jet lag kicked in. There we go. Thanks, there we go. Thank you. Great. Glad someone's agreeing with me there. I think, you know, I think um, the reason why Storm News was relatively truck-free, Jilly, was because they're high-sided vehicles, and therefore in high winds, the uh, companies generally park their trucks up, don't they? Especially if they're going over bridges and things like that. Well, you know, it could be going over the, um, the, uh, the one at Essex, you know, the, and the one in Wales. Oh. <laughs> Alison, it will be the uh, pilots who will re request the fuel volume, which is calculated based on the, all the different parameters. much darker folks than it appears on the screen it's the one thing with um, with the cameras well this one in particular uh, it does give a false reading in terms of the uh, just how dark it is which is good it's great for us isn't it hey eh? uh, Michael Barber didn't they have to move fuel around on Concord to, to streamline it yes they did Michael um, in fact, that was one of the biggest um, uh, um, one of the biggest functions, jobs for the flight engineer was to move fuel around Concorde to maintain the um, centre of gravity. Well, actually, to keep the pitch angle perfect. Uh, she had uh, she had tip tanks wingtip tanks. Um. Oh, easy! Oh, I thought he was going to slam that one. Big roux coming out. Oh, actually, she's not coming out. She's on her way to be gated. See the split rudder there, folks? 
quite clearly see it there split rudder assembly on the uh, on the a380 um, and that is for, for a couple of reasons but also one of the one of the reasons is is for stress on the uh, on the on the on the on the mechanisms and on the tailplane structure itself the vertical stabilizers see the elevators dipped below their neutral position which indicates that there is no hydraulic pressure in the system there so they just drop to their neutral position Andy Fishlock BA165 most tracked um, oh, at number 10 okay so, so she's at number 10 on flight radar that's interesting now, there will probably be quite a few Tel Aviv um, uh, related aircraft I'd imagine that are going to be uh, no Super 80 Swiss Air, DC-8 man. Scotty, not completely gotten rid of the barbed wire, it's still there, <laughs> but you know, um, Friday, well I won't be able to do it because it's going to be raining on Friday, isn't it, or, um, different ways of sort of like getting up a little bit higher, you know, something's going to be, I reckon another 100 mil. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, did we catch that coming in? Uh, well, we did, but we didn't during our uh, little early technical issue. Ah, oh, look at this three feet. There's the flare, look at him lining up the undercarriage. Now they are more or less flat or level with the, uh, with the, with the runway surface. I think that's all part of the, um, the, the training on the 350 will be to, uh, to maintain that pitch, that angle. G'day. Mr. Cat. Uh, Scotty too, no, um, don't see any reason why we can't rig this up in the, at, um, at the Renaissance, although I think we're high enough at the Renaissance, aren't we? Um, but I could get myself a little bit higher at, um, at the Renaissance, but we've got, kind of got the LFB now, haven't we, which sort of like, you know, supersedes the, uh, the Renaissance. That's a bit closer to the touchdown, but nothing to say we're not going to go there. Got your mark with them. Right, Jilly, I need to do a battery check. Um, but I can't, I can't. I'm going to have to rely on the, um, the swiftness of my battery um, check system. One moment. Is it 
Right, okay, um, this has got to be quick because I need to remove it, check it, and then put it back in. Here we go. 51% remaining. Wow, that's really good. That's blimey. Yeah. So that's going to give us around about six hours, six or seven hours. Just as good as the, uh, the pegs, man. get into the air. Keith Clegg. Uh, Steve Nolan, 1828 for 165. It's going to be near to darkness now. It's over Rye. Okay, so uh, she is in the UK now. What have we got? 611 here now. Um, by 7 o'clock in the evening it is pitch dark. Oh, look at that, Frankfurt Road Cargo. Look at that. So that's interesting. Has he, has he, has he perhaps picked something up? He may have picked something up. Check as well, Jenny. Stand by. Twenty-five percent remaining. We've certainly got enough on that mic. Uh, Vamos experience a wonderful BAE. British Airways one sixty-five is fuel critical. Well, I wouldn't have thought so, because if it was, they would have, um, they would have probably gone into uh, a European airfield, I would imagine. Would that be right? Um, but, uh, but maybe they will get priority into London Heathrow. Six five over high wheel close to Tunbridge Wells. as well. It's good on the maxes, the red devils going out. Jetliners. Q 
Gary Bokes, thank you. BA165 over Tunbridge Wells. Um, we're going to get her to number one, perhaps? I don't know. Jordan Charlie. Uh, I don't know, Jordan. Uh, do, do, do they normally send um, a Dreamliner on this route? Or um, what's the deal there? Is it normally a triple seven? It's a three. It's, it's always a three fifty, is it? Okay. The Dave is wondering why they decided to return all the way to Heathrow and not divert to another airport nearby um, to bring them back. Uh, Deborah to bring the passengers back, get them to start again. Um, obviously, British Airways will no doubt look after those passengers, but those passengers will have no option to fly to Tel Aviv tomorrow or any time in the near future so that'll be it really um, whether they had um, connecting flights I don't know if that's, uh, if that's possible Descent. JRJ photo. I imagine she's on descent. Yeah, she's way through her descent pattern. Uh, he said, I'm on the DFW now, number 17700, squawking Nick Woodward. Is that American? Or just age a 757? A 757, sorry. Wow. Push that um, Kenya jet back quick, haven't they? Still seeing a few aircraft ascending and descending around Tel Aviv on Flight Radar 24. No stacks of Biggin at the moment show so Sometimes I blundered across the Storm Unistry by chance and it ended up changing the trajectory of my life. Was that where Makoto became a, um, uh, started working airside at Bristol, wasn't it? I think. Absolutely fantastic. And we have changed a few people's lives for the better uh, in terms of um, well being, if anything, which is a great thing. Certainly for me. <laughs> If it wasn't for everybody on here, I've got to be honest with you, I wouldn't have made it through Covid. Well, I would have done, but it would have been hell on earth. But we were so distracted, weren't we? I mean, literally, um, five, six, seven hours of every day during Covid, we were live. Um, not just for our own sanity, but for everybody else's as well. And the things we did and the people we met and the, just everything along the way was... Uh, that's why I can't look back at Covid and think, oh my God, that was the worst time of my life. Of course it was a bad time for everybody, but we got through it with each other, didn't we? I'm sure there's a song there somewhere. Mr. Wright, 71, jump over here. 
Oh, Jambo Jet, sorry, yeah. The Incredible Hulk, isn't it? Yeah. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Anyway, Bruce saying, uh, every flight on Flight Radar's top 10 is a Tel Aviv flight, except the top two. There we go. Thank you, Bruce. I'll try my best not to make you Andy angry, Bruce. Uh, Diane 78, BA 165, 8 minutes, HGC, 8,000 feet. Uh, Jill Dor, 165 is south of Pearly Squire, famous place. Not very far from the original London airport, which was Croydon. Um, and that's where, uh, was it Amelia? Airport. Is it Amelia flew the non-stop? Is, is it Amelia? Anyway, the first person to fly Earnhardt or something. Uh, Pico 7, number 2, 165. Thank you. Just about to enter uh, a shop in Bromley, Mars High saying. <laughs> Just popping in for a, a Mars bar. Uh, Vamos Experience says, uh, looks like 165 is joining the Biggin Hold. Interesting. She's number two, Andy Fishlock, Gillian, San Gillian Sankey as well. Nick Gray, Steve Austin was the sixth dollar, six million dollar. Now over Croydon, number two, 165, Yorkshire, Phaser. And that is where the original London Airport was, of course. Imperial Airways, I believe. Uh, operate down there, it's with Goliaths. Amy Johnson. Amy Johnson, that was it, yeah. That was Amy Johnson, my apologies. She's number one, Andy Fishlock saying she's number one now, BA165 is number one. Um, Jules Harris, thank you, um, explaining the reason why we are staying late for uh, BA165. Uh, for the safety of all the passengers, well done British Airways by the way. Um, Twan Picus definitely not holding a big one. Uh, she is number six to land now. John Walton, thank you. Sue Cruz, Clive Clark. Isalaf Samat. Big bugs, yes. Oh, some pretty big bugs here, man. They're only tiny little flies, but they're big. Isn't it? Big swing, man. Mel Lasalle, she's number one. Thank you, Pico. Chrissy. Trev Lyon, she's over Sid Cup. Sid Cup, that's still Kent. So she'll be, I'd imagine, approaching, uh, appearing from our right. Steffi Quinlan. 
take care. Lula, 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 165 turning onto the stack. Thank you. That to Kenya Airways logo on the tail. KQ there, IATA code. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I thought it was the uh, Kellogg's. Um, no. Um, but that's interesting. KQ, that's very interesting. Thank you for that. Uh, six Y. Something I've learned today. Okay, I'm going to keep my mouth shut just in case the news um, want to use it. They don't want me. Virgin have now suspended all flights to Tel Aviv. Um, didn't somebody say that their mate was flying on back? Did they make it out? Did they make it out? Oh, it's on its way back. Yeah, beautiful place to visit, by the way. The original Croydon Airport building, which is uh, um, the arrivals hall or uh, departures lounge or whatever you want to call it. Um, They've got a bit of history there, got some offices there, but downstairs in the lobby, um, some of the original architecture, which is beautiful, check-in desk and um, some historical facts and things and stuff like that. Uh, great place to visit. How far out is she? Um, is she number four, number three, number two? Um, Andrew Todd, behind the SAS through Tony Neo. Well, this is an SA, no, it's not. Uh, number five, including the Swiss GP. Four out. HGC, thank you. Danny Coltrane, fifth in stack, fourth in stack now. Uh, Kevin Beasley approaching Fulham. So would have had a contingency plan. Yeah, of course so. Yeah. Um, over and above the um, existing contingency plan. So is that her third in the stack there? Oh no, 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 three tiddlers and then the um, so that SAS Neo uh, at the back there, you can see it's a Neo by her bright um, wing lights the um, high intensity new style of lights that they have on the new jets look at the look at the Boeing 737 look at the Boeing 737 wing lights folks they look like uh, flies eyes amazing Can be a long flight for the passengers, but a safe flight for the passengers. Let's leave it at that. HTC sees at 3,000 feet. B two BA is SAS, and then BA 165. There is BA 165. I think uh, third out there in the stack. Do a, uh, she did do a circuit then. Blimey, look at her on flight radar. If you select it, the green line starts there. So it's nine hours, not 14 hours, was it? It's a nine hour flight so far. So that's what, how, how, how long it goes. Ten hours, right? Okay. Even so, it's not much fun, is it? So I've got to, did they also cater it? Did they cater the aircraft for a, a potential return flight as well? Um, you know, they don't generally have space for that, you know. Um, down under the, in the belly of the aircraft, you know, you don't have a tremendous amount of space. Drinks and snacks and packs of crisps and stuff. Yeah, blimey. 
not much fun. Okay, two more jets and then the uh, BA-165 from Tel Aviv. Whichever, however long it is, it's a long time ago. Here we go then, folks. Look, this whole field is lit by these lights, man. Crazy. Okay, I'm going to come back to uh, 165 because it's our closing shot, folks. Let's, uh, it's good light. Nice little uh, news article for, for the 10 o'clock news. Uh, keep an eye on that, folks. Um, approaching minimums. 100 above. There she is, folks. Okay, well, we're done. Thank you to everybody for your uh, for your for your company today. It's been great again from our new position. Oh, a little bit of vortex. Nice. Coming off those uh, those flaps. Nice.
stand by folks I just saw a mention somebody there saying that there was a 380 not that far out so I did have to look um, so let's grab that shall we <laughs> GP can you do a time stamp on that 350 from If they want it, if they want to run it, then um, we need to get it to them pretty damn quick. Um, logo free, of course. Well, I don't know. Have they done stuff? They just zoom in on it, can't they? Yeah. <laughs> Stand by, folks. Deborah Mallets, uh, thank you. Not over till it's over, if you know what I mean. Mycroft Holmes, thank you. There is an encore. <laughs> Chris Clark, indeed. Large lady, we should say. No, it's not over till the large lady sings. Uh, Bruce Banner, Emirates e e e EK3 over Lambeth now. Doing the Lambeth walk. Oi! Uh, Steve B, yes, I thought it was a toker for a second there. Yeah, Makoto, you're going to have to. Uh, reposition yourself and you? <laughs> get yourself up to London Heathrow I'm sure you'd uh, probably easily get a uh, wow look at the vortex coming off those wings off those engine splitters well you know we're gonna get a mediocre shot of the 380 I think I don't think it's gonna be um, massively in focus but we'll do our very best VJ Menon Airports uh, in this light are spectacular, are they? Rick Ashy. D. Stew, thank you. Three out. Including this one from Lyon. Lights. Mike's doing well. Who's Mike? No, the Mike. <laughs> How deep can I go? How deep is your love? Is your love? How deep is your love? I really need to learn. Lights, yeah, we all do. Looks great, doesn't it? Whitey liveries in the dark, but spotlighted are really good. Yes, and uh, those who uh, have their engine illumination lights on are also uh, looking pretty fantastic. Uh, 
Gareth Williams might need thermals for one Sunday. something for discussion that Scotty <laughs> I know what you're saying okay here we go folks this is the final shot of the day uh, she's not very lit up her engines uh, illumination lights are not very uh, illuminated Haroon vlogs um, an absolute pleasure Dorset ADT winter time we will be doing more early morning shots wow this thing's coming at us like a freight train look at this was that man our oh, GP I think you'll find that that passing shot is your thumbnail fantastic folks look after yourselves we'll be back on Sunday and it's go look after yourselves folks be good oh look at my eyes I am a robot um, <laughs> um, now I look very tanned um, thanks folks look after yourselves this isn't a very high vis jacket is it I might take this back actually it's not very visible is it <laughs> ok folks look after yourselves you have been fantastic welcome to all our new members thank you to everybody who's gifted membership as well I have to say you know who you are I can't mention you individually because there are literally too many of you but thank you so much welcome to Big Jet TV if you're a new member and welcome to all our organic new members as well um, subscribe to the channel uh, because we just don't want you to miss any any future shows uh, download the app as well very easy to do no in-app purchases anything silly like that it is just a tool for you to use in your skyrocket so you can get notifications if your YouTube should fail you follow us on Twitter as well and uh, by the way before you shut the door on the way out give us a like cheers see you later bye bye Break it down!